Hi, I'm Carrie Langstrat. I'm a G1 oncologist at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. I have a joint appointment in the Department of Gynecologic Surgery and Medical Oncology. Today I'm here with one of my partners. Hi, I'm Bill Kleibe. I'm also a G1 oncologist at Mayo Clinic, and we're part of a larger group of uh, surgical and medical specialists that treat gynecologic cancers at, uh, at Mayo Clinic. And today we're here to talk to you about recurrent ovarian cancer and how we treat that and how to think about that and what options are available. So while none of us like to deal with the, the topic of recurrence, we as physicians and you as patients would much rather not have to deal with this cancer again. It's unfortunately a common event in ovarian cancer. But fortunately, we do have many options to treat ovarian cancer even after it's recurred once and even a second or a third time to uh, provide meaningful benefit to patients and extend life that's quite normal for the most part with minimal side effects. So that's what we're here to talk to you about today. And uh, Carrie, so what are some of the options if a patient has been diagnosed with a recurrence of their cancer? What do we think about in terms of ways to treat that? Sure. Some of the things we think about or offer for our patients that have recurrent ovarian cancer is standard of care re chemotherapy, surgery, surgery with chemotherapy, and sometimes clinical trials. Chemotherapy uh, depends on how far patients are out from their primary treatment. Often we will consider using the same treatment that a patient had when they had their first diagnosis with ovarian cancer as their next line of treatment, again, for their recurrent disease. But we do have many different types of chemotherapy that we consider for patients with recurrent ovarian cancer. We also often look for clinical trials for our patients with recurrent disease, as these offer possible treatments that are more effective or better than our standard of line chemotherapy. So if a patient's now hearing about clinical trial options, how do they, how should they think about that? What are the different types of clinical trials that are available and um, the benefits of some of them or what are the different phases? Sure. So phase one uh, clinical trials are clinical trials with minimal preclinical data, but they do have some evidence that the drugs are safe and they, there is some reason that we think that they might be effective in patients with ovarian cancer. So that might be a patient who's exhausted or kind of standard treatments, mm -hmm. but we're trying some new drugs to see if they work. Correct. So these are patients that maybe we don't have any other um, really good options for standard, standard chemotherapy. Um, then there are also phase two and phase three trials, and phase two and phase three trials uh, offer treatment with medications that we know have a, uh, efficacy or have an effect and impact on survival with ovarian cancer. And these are drugs that are trials where often we're pairing the new stand or new drug against standard of care chemotherapy. So we would consider this for patients that have recurrent disease, even in the first recurrence um, or second or third recurrences if, if the patient is at that stage in their mm -hmm. treatment. So fair to say for those phase three studies in particular, we're trying something that we think is at least as good as what we're currently using. We're trying to see if it's better. Correct. Mm -hmm. and, and we even sometimes even the phase two trials are sometimes set up very similar to phase three trials and are attempting to answer that same question. Mm -hmm. And then what kind of trials are available at Mayo Clinic? So why would a patient come to Mayo, for instance? Yeah, so um, we have clinical trials that are offered nationally. Uh, that's often through the gynecologic oncology group or from pharmaceutical companies. We also have a number of investigators at Mayo Clinic that have their own clinical trials that they have developed that they are moving forward with uh, as on a research purpose. Um, some of those include immune therapy trials. Some of those include targeted therapies um, with immune therapy or CDK1 uh, inhibitors. Um, uh, but we have a, a large number of clinical trials um, that patients would be uh, potential candidates for here at mm -hmm. Mayo. And Mayo Clinic is a, 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 one of the leaders in ovarian cancer research, and we're involved nationally in research. We have what's, uh, what's known as a National Institute of Health SPORE grant in ovarian cancer that brings together investigators to try to study new approaches to ovarian cancer, which is very useful and powerful uh, for patients. So thank you for listening uh, to us to talk to you about recurrent ovarian cancer. If you're a patient who's experiencing a recurrence right now, 
Uh, we're sorry that you have to go through this again, but we have a lot of options here at Mayo Clinic and a lot of hope. And we can uh, provide appointment details on mayoclinic.org. And we're happy to see patients for second opinions or for opinions on what next steps to take for the management of their disease. Thank you for listening. Thank you.